Thank you, Professor Gaia. The last speaker this afternoon will be my colleague, uh, Dr. Heidi Nelson, who will discuss uh, lessons learned from the laparoscopic colon tri trial. Heidi? Where's the, is this the, uh... thank you, uh, David. I think uh, Dr. Uh, Buell for inviting me to this uh, conference. It looks like you have a very intense agenda and it's a very impressive uh, gathering, sort of who's who in liver surgeons. And uh, I'm a standout uh, colorectal surgeon, obviously. Um, I have uh, three disclosures. According to Dr. D'Angelica, I'm an old timer. Uh, and I'm not a liver surgeon. Uh, when I want liver surgery, I call 47696. And that gets me uh, Dr. Dave Nagorny here, who comes and does my liver surgery. And I also disclose that I don't know the critical issues of relevance to liver surgery. I think I'm brought here to be sort of the referee for helping you think through what could you do for a uh, more direct comparisons uh, of uh, liver laparoscopic versus open surgery. I have no financial disclosures. Um, as I put this talk together, I really didn't know what it is you needed or wanted from sort of the lessons learned. So I put some things down and hopefully this will help uh, hit some of the points you're, you're thinking about. Uh, if not, what we can do is talk about it during the discussion. Uh, um, but basically, in order to be successful, if you want to conduct a trial, you have to have a good study idea that it captures the equipoise uh, out there. And it has to also capture the enthusiasm of a group such as this. You have to have a really solid uh, study design. It's got to be simple but focused. Um, and uh, it needs to have a sample size that's both definitive at the end of the day, but also can be accomplished. That is, it's feasible. Your protocol really needs to be simple and user friendly, and you really need to have a, a great team um, that can recruit the patients and uh, for which you communicate well. What is equipoise? Uh, equipoise is really uh, something I've heard already expressed in this room is laparoscopic equivalent to open surgery. Are you at that point where you're not sure uh, which is better? Um, now, uh, I will say that since I've uh, been in this field of clinical trials, I've learned that there's a difference between individual equipoise, which is what I had back in 1993. I was an open surgeon, then I became a laparoscopic surgeon. When I got good enough to do the technique, I sort of wondered, is it really as good? Is it really better? Does it offer anything? And so I was sort of at that point of equipoise. Uh, but there are times when you actually have community equipoise, not individual equipoise, and you just heard from Dr. Gayette, how uh, they compared uh, uh, two different institutions because some practice laparoscopic and some practice open, and they pretty much probably have their own beliefs as to what's going on. So that's community equipoise. It's harder to do a randomized trial in a community equipoise circumstance. Um, you really have to have a lot of community enthusiasm. People have to rally around a given point. Um, it needs to be timely. It needs to be relevant. It must have some kind of downstream significant impact, and it really has to create a passion amongst the people who talk about it and think about it, which we've heard today. Um, the study design needs to be really focused. Don't add a lot to this. One of my, my <laughs>